seven years of those ten years had one finance minister, Sri P. Chidambaram. Seven out of ten years, Sri P. Chidambaram has been the finance minister of India during UPA 1 and UPA 2. Criticizing shining India about NDA rule, which ended in 2004, we were told there was a dream team of economists, Dr. Manmohan Singh, Montek Singh Aluwalia ji, and Sri P. Chidambaram, will we'll bring in a beautiful, inclusive India. And under Atal Bihari Bajpai ji's leadership, growth which reached up to 8.4 percent today has reached growth well before 4 percent. And Sri P. Chidambaram, who has remained the finance minister for seven out of these ten years, has the distinction of having brought that shining India to gloom India. Growth rate has come down from 8.4 to well be below 4 percent. And we all have repeatedly said, now there is high degree of joblessness and from that economy where LPG was freely available, any number of cylinders were available, jobs were available. Today you have an India where gloom has set in, investors are running away, farmers are committing suicide, inflation is literally ruining every household, Cylinders are restricted for cooking. Jobs are not at all available. Small farmers and traders are in trouble. Every sector, inclusive of consumer, which all of us are, are suffering. Now, what is the latest news from the Congress table? That minister who served as the finance minister for seven out of ten years, he is not even contesting. He is running away from contest. He is not willing to face the public, the voting public of India, to give answers as to what his achievements were. Why is this gloom in this country? This is a symbolic, very symbolic and very important development, which actually reflects the state of affairs and the mindset today of the Congress party. They are running away from contest. It's symbolic that the finance minister, who remained finance minister for the major part of the term of the 10 years, is not even available for answer. He is running away from contest. And that is the situation in Congress. They have no will to fight. They have actually conceded defeat. And this is really symbolic, a step which reflects the mindset of the Congress party today. Not just these seven years, before the NDA came to power, 96 to 98, when Sri P. Chidambaram was the finance minister then also, growth rate had come down well before 4%. 4 and under Sri Atal Bihari Bajpayeeji's leadership, the NDA had to literally think and do a lot of out-of-the-box thinking and execution of projects in such a way that that growth was lifted again till 2004 to reach 8% level. So that distinction between 96 to 98 and this distinction of seven years' performance of the economy speaks for the dream team of economists who promised a wonderful inclusive India. Now they have left everybody in India out of the economy and let the economy down to doldrums. Therefore, today, economy and development, which is the main issue on which Sri Narendra Modi is asking several questions, proving that in his state, just as in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, BJP ruled states, we are attending to every question of economy. The Congress party is unable to answer questions. This is a symbolic and very 
important step where the finance minister is allowed to run away without answering questions. He is not even contesting. We like to draw your attention to this.